In 2022, I really upped my dress shoe game and added four pairs of beautiful Goodyear welted dress shoes. But up to now, I've only featured one pair of cheap boots on this channel. And for good reason. My boot collection is pitiful. I have been desperately searching for some nice boots for the last few months, especially a pair of winter boots with a chunky sole to deal with the often torrid UK weather. For example, the Thursday boots captain with the Stormwelt sole. But typically, I got drawn into buying something I wasn't really looking for. These are the Bobby's House and Derby boot, and I was attracted to them because of the gorgeous light sand coloured leather. I was tempted by their Russell Suede Chelsea boot and the Randall New Book leather boot, but in the end I wanted to go with something that was casual, not too dressy or too rugged. For those that haven't heard of the brand before, Bobby's is a French fashion brand. If you follow them on Instagram, you will see that most of their content is focused on the female market. But the good news is that they do make men's shoes and boots, and their footwear is made in Portugal using proper construction methods and decent materials. I purchased these boots in Bobby's winter sale for £135, plus £8 shipping reduced from £225. Their prices include all taxes and duties, so if you're in the UK, you don't need to worry about import charges. They offer free shipping on orders over £200 and free returns on all orders, which is reassuring. The box is nice enough and the boots come with a set of spare laces and a single boot bag, which is fine. I'll be honest, I don't really use shoe bags or boot bags for storage, but they are useful when travelling and do offer some level of protection against scuffs and scratches. Okay, let's take a closer look. The boots are a four eyelet derby made from vintage Italian leather. I'm not really sure what that means, but the website states that all of their smooth leathers are vegetable tanned and the quality of the leather feels quite sturdy. The color is listed as Savannah and I would describe them as a light sand. They are Blake stitch construction with a rubber sole. One can only assume that the welt is a fake welt. I like the way that the midsole is brown. It sort of goes better with the upper leather color. And I tend to think that completely black rubber soles should be reserved for black shoes and black boots. Now, if I had gone for a pair of tough winter boots, I would definitely have gone with something more robust, such as Goodyear welted or Storm welted slash Norwegian welted rather than Blake stitched and probably a darker colour also. Now the quality isn't amazing, things are a little off here and there, the stitching on the sole looks a bit sloppy, there are a few marks on the leather here and there, but otherwise it's not bad, pretty much what you would expect of a boot at this price point. Of course the true test of quality is how it holds up over time, but so far so good. Bobby's uses European sizing and I went for the size 41 which their website states is a UK 7.5. I usually take a UK 7 and as a couple of the reviews I saw stated that the boots are a bit tight fitting I went for the 41 and they fit perfectly. As you can see the insole and the lining are leather too and there's a traditional heel tab to help get the boots on and off. I should point out that the website states that these boots are handmade in Portugal but I'm sure that's just marketing buzz and these are made in the usual way by workers using machines. At £143 I think they are decent value for money. You never really know what you're going to get with fashion brands. Some do it right but some just use their brand and popular trends to sell low quality footwear at higher prices. Fortunately Bobby seems to get the balance about right. These boots will look fantastic when the weather isn't too nasty, ideal in spring and autumn, or on brighter winter days, perfect with a nice pair of chinos or smart jeans. If you're interested in checking out Bobby's, I've put a link in the description below. They have all the usual boot styles and also some derbies and Oxford dress shoes moccasins and loafers 
including Goodyear welted models, although they are a little bit more expensive. I would definitely consider buying from them again, but hopefully not too soon, as I've spent enough on footwear in the last few months. I've seen hardly any reviews of this brand, so hopefully this has been useful. If you did enjoy this video, please consider liking and subscribing, it really does help. And if you're on Instagram, you can also follow me there, at the underscore Holcutt. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.